Uh, in 2005, I had a what ended up being a career-ending injury in Jacksonville. Um, it was diagnosed as a torn quad, ended up being a double hernia. While I was rehabbing that torn quad, torn quad, I blew out my left knee. And when I say blew out, I just destroyed the meniscus. Any cartilage in there was just destroyed. I coach kickers, punters, long snappers now with Husted kicking on the national side and then myself and Neil Rackers coached together in St. Louis. It was to the point I couldn't even demonstrate how to kick a football because I couldn't put weight on my left leg. I had a dime size hole in my femur and a quarter size hole in my tibial plateau of the articular cartilage. And he was like, I, we, can, we can try to fracture it. We can try to set it up a little bit different. But I gotta be honest with you, your, your bone's so bad that we, we can't do anything. Don Horn and uh, Candace and, and Arva came to St. Louis to our NFLPA former players meeting. And they were looking for candidates for a tibial plateau study. And I think before I left the before I left that meeting, I had had everything emailed to them with x-rays, MRIs. I was out here three or four weeks later getting the stem cell, uh, took it out of my hip, threw it into my tibial plateau. But almost immediately, two to three days later, the pain that I had for the previous five years was gone. I would be waking up in the middle of the night. I couldn't fall asleep at night. I would have to sleep with pillows. And that's a story, everybody. I mean, I hear that from a lot of people. And the fact that I was able to finally sleep through the night, it was like something has to be, I mean, that's, whatever it was worked. I did have a little hiccup, a little, like maybe about a month and a half later. And I came back in for PRP. He said, it just kind of helps it. It, it kind of just, it's kind of a Kickstarter. Um, so I did that and have had zero problems. The last year of my life has been unbelievable. I mean, it's almost back to what it was, what I would expect to be able to be doing right now. Um, I can, any leg exercise I can do again, squatting 315, so I, w I wouldn't even put a squat rack, I, I wouldn't even put a squat bar on my back. Um, I can play golf without a brace anymore. Uh, instead of walking or instead of using the cart, I'm walking now when I'm playing golf. So you just take that into consideration and it's night and day difference. So uh, and the, that's why I'm back here, just kind of to just keep it going. But I'll tell you what, it literally made all the difference in the world the last year of my life.